I want to take a few minutes and speak on our brother Craig who now goes by the name of Brother Supremacy used to be formerly known as African Supremacy and a few other names but we know him as our brother Craig who is now Brother Supremacy and I noticed that our deacons of reality shouts out to deacons of reality productions soul brother 85 and twin pyramid I noticed that our deacons have taken a liking to brother Craig and support brother Craig despite the things that have been going on within the last year or so. And I concur. And we send a shout out. And we salute Brother Craig. I've known Brother Craig, Brother Supremacy, for years. We have known each other and interacted. I've supported Brother Supremacy in his endeavors. And we've known each other for years. He knows who Angel Snub Nup 7 is. He understands who and what Angel Snub Nup 7, this ministry that we call Reality's Temple on Earth, he understands from the very beginning. I don't want to talk about what happened in the past. I don't want to talk about the negativity. I want to talk about the positivity and the brotherhood and the sincerity that this man demonstrates. He is brother supremacy, but at one time he was a Pan-African. He was African supremacy. But he has evolved and he has changed of which we all have the right to do that. I've never, and I do not try to convert or convince nobody to do anything. I present my opinion and I can accept whether you reject or embrace such opinion or ideology. What I've noticed about Brother Craig is that through all this, he has shown to be a good brother. And he, despite when he was a Pan-African or thought in that manner, he respected Angel Snub Nup 7, he respect this ministry, and he respect the beliefs and mindset of all those he just wishes to be your brother and wishes for us to evolve and progress. He was once having this Pan-African mindset, but even then, he could see all sides. He could see the pros and the cons of a belief or an ideology. So now he is Brother Supremacy and he talks about his Nigerian origins or roots or ancestry 
And our brother Craig speaks about the pros of our connection to a place called Mother Africa. He also shows the negative. He also shows the bad side, the reality of Africa, of which some persons that do not do that. And in order for Brother Craig to talk to us, he must have respect. And this is something Brother Bakari and this guy, Nollywood Jr., who this guy, Nollywood Jr., is still going in our videos trying to find something to flag. He's a false flagger, just like Sanetta and Nepal and many others trying to find something to flag, run to the Masa, run to the white man so that he can try to hinder our talk. Brother Craig has never done that, nor has Brother Bakari, to my knowledge, has never done that. But in order to speak to anyone, you must have respect for them. And I don't see Brother Bakari or Guy Nollywood having respect. It is all about them and what they want, how they view things. Brother Bakari tries and he makes an attempt. But he's so caught up in that Pan-African ideology and selfish. It's my way or the highway. So he has no respect for nobody. How can you ask for unity and you have no respect for nobody? This is why Guy Nollywood Jr. says, we don't need everybody. We just need those of like minds. Of course, because you're not interested in other people. You're only interested in yourself. And even among your so-called like minds, you cannot get together to do nothing. Everybody is still divided. Everybody is still separated. I'm going to do my thing. Brother Craig has come to us and been honest. He's honest in his videos. I'm not a righteous, holy person. I eat pork, I drink. I'm a whoremonger, you know, hey, I smoke. He says these things. He's trying to keep it real for us. His primary objective and in his heart is, I want better for the black man and woman in America. All these other things. Is not a priority. Brother Craig. Can respect us. Because he can respect reality. He has a respect for. Logic. There are those, when you bring to them common sense and logic, they are in denial. They just cannot say or just can accept and just be quiet. But right is right, wrong is wrong. These persons, like Brother Bakari and Guy Nollywood Jr., they take and get upset with you you, re you reject history. A history you have not shown no connection to. It's a history, but it's not yours. It's a history of people that you carry some of the DNA, but it's that's not your history. You have no contribution. In order for that to be your history, you have to show your connection, which you cannot do that simply because you have dark skin. You cannot... You cannot show. And then you also have to show your contribution. They do not teach about African Americans or some kidnapped people in America in African history because there's no connection there. You, offer, you have no contribution to their history. 
just because you're related to a person does not mean you are part of their history as a people. Perhaps as an individual, but not as a people. You reject science. The thing about these persons is they want you to embrace science and history of which you can make science and history say anything that you want. Adolf Hitler and the Nazis use science and they also use history to support their ideology. But when you use the same science and history that they don't like, then they ignore and they are in denial. See, this is not keeping it real. And of course, they use Marcus Garvey and they use Malcolm X as some kind of prophets, some kind of standard barriers for their ideology. And the only reason why they uplift Marcus Garvey and Malcolm X is because they're dead. They're dead men. So you can take dead people and turn them into anything that you want. The same way you can use history and religion to fit your narrative, you can use Marcus Garvey and Malcolm X any way you want to. And then when people bring to them facts from science, facts from history, facts of the life of Marcus Garvey or Malcolm X, then they are in denial. But nevertheless, we can argue and we can debate over ideology. If that what floats your boat because you're not doing anything, we can argue and have debates because we're not doing any real work. Because the work, you're so tired, you don't have time for debates. You are out on the streets. You are working with the people themselves in order to change a condition. How are you going to change the condition of a people and you don't know them? You want to turn them into something in your mind. So you're not working for them. You are a slave master seeking slaves for your personal plantation. You're not really wanting what is what is in the best interest of a people. You are wanting what is in the best interest of yourself and the fantasy world, the delusions of what you think they should be in your mind, of which will never happen. And even in your delusional world, among your own selves, y'all can't get nothing together. You have accomplished nothing. But we can salute Brother Craig because even though they have spit poison in his ear against Angel Snutton Up 7, because he is a sincere brother and he wants different, and he has known me for years. He has not let that tear him apart from a brother he knows that is also sincere in the struggle, wanting better for us as a people. So that's the difference. You cannot seek unity and brotherhood when you don't respect nobody. And these men are so emotional. They're not in a position to unite or do anything for anyone and so selfish. Jot down your comments. Let's talk about it. I'll catch you on the flip-flop. Peace and respect you.